Hey peeps, it's Andy Kuhn with FCproducer.com. Thanks for checking out this review tutorial of Yenobox Moods. Now, Yenobox Moods is a unique color grading plugin with a full screen interface for Final Cut Pro X, Final Cut Pro 7, Motion, and After Effects. I'm going to be showing you in Final Cut Pro 7. Let's get to it. First thing, go to a browser effects, go to your effects tab, click on your video filters, and then scroll down to Yenobox, grab your mood, and shove it on your timeline footage. I already have it on there, so I'm gonna go up to my viewer, and Moods has a help button just like everything else that goes into FX Factory. It's so nice. Click on that. Your web browser opens up with the manual in it, and you could just easily go through it, scroll, and get a good understanding of what Moods does. Let me close that and let's go back to the viewer. The viewer, the presets that it comes with, they have so many presets and it kind of starts you off. It gets you going, um, but I'm not gonna mess with any presets. They also have display overlays. When I click that, the display goes off. And when I click help card with the displays on, it comes up and it shows you what each wheel does, which is very helpful. So I'm gonna keep it on for this one. I'll come back to the compare button. So right now I'm going to click desaturate. Click and go up. You see it's desaturated. If I go down, it makes it silver. And kind of gives you that cool bleach bypass look just right away, right like that. Go a little bit to the right, brings up the brightness down. And the brightness will come down like that. I kind of like that. Cool look. So next we're going to go to gamma exposure. I'm going to click on that. Go up. Brings up the gamma down brings it down to the right it'll bring up the exposure to the left it brings it down so i'm going to keep it right around the middle and bring down the gamma just a little bit i like that the next three are basic your color wheels that you you know if you open your three-way color wheels it's the exact same thing but before i get there let me go to the compare button i click on the compare button and i can bring just click anywhere in here and it'll show you exactly what your footage looks like before and after so you can have split screen you can do whatever you want to do so i'm going to keep it right about there because i want to see what it does on the trees so shadows i like where the shadows are at right now but i want to add just a little bit of green so i'm going to go bring the shadows and grab a green now i don't like how the shed the green is going all over the place so i'm going to bring down the shadow strength which may be like 0.13 uh, the midtones, click, you drag, and the further you drag out, you get more yellow. All the midtones are going to get red, green, blue. You get the idea. So I like this one. Bring it over to blue, kind of contrast. The grit makes a green pop. So I'm going to put it right there. Now I can make the signal strength higher, or lower. Keep it right about there. Highlights, the same thing. Right now it's in the center. Bring it down for more green. I'm going to bring it over to the yellow just a little bit. And I'm going to bring down the highlights because it's a little bit overexposed. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to go back to my gamma exposure and bring it for exposure down just a little bit. I mean, the whites are popping like crazy. And now I can also go to uh, wash blacks. Now what wash blacks is it blends the shadows with pure colors to create some classic vintage look so let me click on this and I can bring it over to you know bring the blacks into the green or the blue but you know the further you go the more it's going to get the harsher it is so I'm going to kind of leave it maybe just a little red no let's leave it just a little green just a bit green and you can bring up the wash if you want and it just brings it up just a touch and that's it Pretty much. And then afterwards, I can get rid of the help card. Boom. Get rid of display overlays. Obviously, it's not going to look like that when you're finished. Um, also, you have two choices. You can either make it punchy or classic. Classic is way too dark. Um, I, I like punchy because it gives you that kind of bleach bypass. So that's Yano Box Moods. It's really easy to work with. You can move things around. Now, some some people might ask, why would you do this when you have color corrector and all these other functions in your color corrector uh, effects tab? Well, because it puts everything in one place. 
You don't have to keep going back and forth. You don't have to go to your uh, filters and turn everything on and off to see what it looks like before and after. And it comes with some really cool presets that are built in. So this is Andy Kuhn with fcproducer.com showing you what Moods does. Uh, check it out. It's free for 14 days. If you have FX Factory, it works with that. So check it out. Go to yanobox.com slash moods. Check them out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace, people.